Hi, today I want to show you how I did the video here. If you haven't seen it, watch it now, then you know what I'm talking about. And uh, the video uh, is showing that the camera view is controlling the video itself. I will talk about the software later and the hardware is uh, I bought an uh, infrared bar for V. This one is the powered by battery for AAA battery and you can buy it with uh, USB power as well. I will let you know the reason why I am using this one and this is just a normal V mode and when I uh, shot the video I fixed the VMO with my camera so basically when my camera is moving then I can send the information to the uh, game engine. There's another option that instead of moving the VMO you can put the VMO stationary and move the infrared bar. That's the reason I bought it without the USB cable. In my case I was checking the movement of the viewer so I can fix the bar on the cap so when uh, the viewer moving the head then it will get uh, track the information accordingly then you don't have the USB cable hanging around but I didn't do that because I missed some more button then I, I can change some setting by pressing the button uh, I, I can show you of course this one is heavier I did some compare here have a look if you want to fix on your head, then of course this one is lighter. I'm going to show you the script where I have done. I've done that for the first time. I'm not an expert. It was an, a kind of experiment for me. I was learning as well. So. Okay, now let's start doing the software part. The main idea is to use the V mode to control the Blender game engine. Uh, as we know, the Blender game engine can only read information from mouse and joystick and keyboard. So the, there is an easy way using Glob Pi, what I'm, I've opened here, to convert the information to mouse and keyboard. But the problem in our case is we need a little bit more analog input for the uh, Blender game engine. So if you convert the V mode to mouse, we only got uh, two axes and the X and Y of the mouse. And if we use a joystick, then there are more uh, analog information. In order to get the joystick information, I need to install a virtual joystick. What I've used is the V Joy, and you can find it from the vjoysticksourceforge.net site. I'm going to put a link uh, in the description. Uh, I also read a lot of people were talking about using PP Joy, the parallel port joystick. But every time I install it, my virus sc uh, scanner detects a virus. And after you, you install the joystick, you will see something uh, here at uh, your uh, desktop corner. The second thing you need to do is install the glove pie. Uh, I just checked the glove pie website. For some reason it's showing me a hacked site. So I don't want to give you the wrong link. Uh, maybe you can Google and find out where to download it. I'm using the version 0 0.4.5 after you open it, it looks like a standard editor. And since we have installed the virtual joystick already, you should be able to see it here. If I will go to CP setting, and here is the one PP Joy I mentioned before, and go to joystick. And here you can see the VJoy device here. And uh, we will go into details a bit later. Uh, I'm going to show you my script. This is the script uh, converting the V mode information to uh, joystick data. So basically, uh, there are some 
uh, values I figure out myself it could be wrong so you can you can change those value if you like and the most important part is this line this is how the infrared bars work in uh, V so there are two uh, infrared LED at the both end so and this command is detecting the one the two uh, infrared light on the bar so basically what is saying if the two lights uh, infrared light are visible then it start calculating the distance from, uh, away from the infrared bar so I don't want to go to the details here the calculation and well, the other important thing is here I assign the X and Y value uh, from the result of the above calculation to the mouse cursor position this is only for testing purpose so doesn't mean anything so I can when the V mode is moving the mouse cursor is moving too so if you don't like you just comment the line out and the last important part are here here uh, are the command these are the very the results uh, returned from the above calculation, and then I have to assign the values to the uh, joystick. So this is the zero one and analog two. So basically, we got the uh, X Y Z from the uh, V mode, and the other one is I assign the V A button and V B button to digital zero and digital one you have to uh, experiment a little bit to find out maybe your s it's a little bit different in your setting and the last line is also interesting if you haven't have never used a uh, glove pie before this is I just print the line the values out for debug purpose now just recap the we are we got the data coming from V mode and GlovePi is converting the V mode data to joystick and this joystick data will go into our virtual joystick and the Blender game engine will read the data as from the joystick now I'm going to show you how to connect your remote to your PC it's just like a normal Bluetooth device you have to go to the Bluetooth setting and uh, I'm using Windows 7 and in your case it might look a little bit different and in my case I'm I have to click on new connection and then I just take the express mode click on next and it starts searching for my device what I need to do is to press one and two buttons at the same time and then start flashing and then Okay, then if you found the control here, I just click on next. Then it's connected. You can see my V mode is connected now. Before we ch check our script whether it's not working, we have to open the uh, device uh, property here. And he now here you can see the value of the joystick and so now start the script by clicking on the run button on the top and you can see the, the this are the debug value the line I put in so after well, clicking on run you can see the LED is lighting up here so it's connecting so and now when I start moving my V mode you can see the debug value on the top are changing and if I go back to so you can also see the, the cross in the square is moving along that that's a joystick control and when I press the button A on the top here and you can see the number one is lighting up and the button now here is a B button then 
you can see number two is lighting up, so everything is fine. So we got the uh, remote control converted to joystick now. Now I'm going to show you my Blender script. I'm using the version 2.68, and here is my script. Since I I'm only moving my camera, uh, when I select the camera, you will see here or the game logic. This is the game logic view, and uh, I, I'm using two sensors. Both are joystick. One is uh, triggered by uh, axis number one, and the other one is uh, a timer. Just regularly checking the buttons. Both are triggering the same script, and in my script there are some in lines I want to point out. Other than that, the all the details. It's only for my case, so I don't think you it's important to you. So this one, uh, the two lines reading the joystick values and the button values, and uh, this line is also important. That's the the trick I found it on internet how to uh, initialize some variable. So that means the script will be triggered regularly, but this block will only be executed once. And the next block of code are uh, only designed for my case because I don't want the camera start uh, tracking at the beginning when I move the camera from the side of, of my TV. I only want to start uh, tracking when the camera is pointing exactly in the middle. So I define a rectangle area only when the coordinate is in the middle of that area, then it start uh, tracking the camera. And this is the block doing the tracking and it's not important to you. So the, the next one is I'm using the camera uh, local position. So every time I reset the position to the original, my original is not actually the zero zero original. So I define my original and then start moving relatively to that position. And the last two part is I was using the two buttons. One is to reset the camera just uh, to the original, to the start position. Then I can do everything again by pressing the B button. The, this B button, that's the one I defined in the GlobPy script. If you go back to here, you can see my B button is digital one. So you can see a one here is checking the one. Checking the button got the value one and the zero here is for for the for the end when I try to freeze the image. I will post the script. I I hope it will fit into the common part of under my video. Of course you can remove a lot of things from there, but most importantly you only need the this here to check the joystick, then you can do whatever you want. As you can see, tracking the camera view with the infrared bar is not very accurate. Uh, in my case, it was just an experiment and try to learn something. You can use this for gaming. If you don't need the infrared bar, you don't need to buy this. This one can work without the infrared bar. Of course, you don't have the control of the movement. You only got the button control just like the gamepad and I hope you have a little bit fun I'm also learning as well I hope you learn a little bit and post what you have tried and if you have any question just post into the comment I will try to help you but I'm not an expert thank you for watching bye